60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Hello YouTube, welcome back to another tutorial here on EMDs Media. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a, an Apple logo um, in, a, uh, in Illustrator. Uh, this Apple logo can help you create things like an animation and After Effects um, and if you want to see how to do that uh, there's a link up in the corner here um, as well as down below in the description. So if you want to just check that video out after this you can make your own Apple logo and then animate it yourself which is a lot more pleasing than just uh, downloading the file. So using uh, Illustrator it's actually kind of easy to make a um, to make a logo or to to copy a logo um, you just have to know how to use the tools. So today we're going to be using mostly the pen tool. Um, now this is a, if you're new to After Effects, I'm, I'm sorry, if you're new to Illustrator, it's a kind of a hard tool to, to, to use. Um, you have to really understand how, what, what it does and how, um, and how to use it correctly. So today we're going to, I'm going to show you a little bit how to do that, but hopefully you already know how to use the pen tool to some extent. So first, just go online, get a picture of an Apple logo. It you know, doesn't have to be anything special. Um, and once that loads in, uh, we could scale it down a little bit uh, just so we have it there. Okay, and we'll name this um, Apple logo. Okay, now we want to make sure our layers are named so we know which, what is which. So now we're going to want a new layer, and we're going to put that on top, and we're going to call it our Apple logo. So this is going to be our, oops, this is going to be our logo um, that we're going to make. So just scaling in here a little bit. Um, there we go. So this logo is a PNG. It's just a PNG file. And if we blow it up far enough, it's going to get a little pixelated. So we want to make it a vector, right? So we can use just the lines if we wanted to use it much um, larger. So our original Apple logo, we're going to just lock that 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 layer because we don't want to touch it. So now we can't move it. So now we can work freely in our in our layer. Um, and this is where and this is where the pen tool comes in. So now we're just going to grab our pen tool. We're going to change some properties about it. So we don't want to fill right now because we don't need a fill going on right now because it's just going to be uh, messy in terms of um, when we're making our lines because we're only making an outline of it. The rest will do it do itself. Um, and for this, I'm going to go with a red color. Oops. Sorry if you guys hear cars in the back. My windows are open because it's a really nice day out. Um, but yeah. Okay. So now that we have a red outline, if I start drawing, as you can see here, red lines will start to come. Um, so this is going to be how we draw our Apple logo. So we want to start right like here, if you, uh, would be a good spot. And then we're going to look at the shape of the, of the, the Apple logo. And you could see that there's a little curve coming up and it peaks right about there. But as you could see, it kind of goes goes um, up towards it. So if we click over here and then drag, as you could see, we're getting we're getting that, right? But we don't want that. We want to go down over here. So what we have to do is we have to actually start here and drag and then make and drag until you get that sweet spot. Now these are Bezier uh, lines or curves where you can then take this um, this this icon here, right? The this tool and we can and we can move these. So we can make it like that. We can make it like that or like that. Or we can get we can um, only do like one side, right? Or we can um, do both. All right, so let's go back to that. The pen tool. So now, if we drag, we have to click back on our our line here. Um, and now we're going to drag to about here. Now, 
the thing about this is you the less the least lines you have or the least dots you have the better it's going to look so right now i already see that this does not look good like the connection here so we're going to have to go back later and fix that but for now let's keep going so and this is just like the first time you do this it's going to be like the rough cut and then we're going to go back and change things up so maybe about here will be good for this curve and and that's fine now now this is really long uh, really up and you're like well that doesn't look good EMD but don't worry we're gonna come back after it. we're just making a quick trace for the rest of it so here and that's fine now we're gonna be able to turn tune this we'll fine-tune it which I find more easier just to have an outline and then later on fix it so like that and then it, it kind of does it for you but you're gonna wanna really and uh, you might want to click you uh, option click to get that the, the straight line back right uh, if you don't know that and we're just gonna Now, if you could, as you can see here, this act, it looks really bad, and you're like, "Well, this uh, this looks actually really bad." Um, but don't worry, don't don't you worry. It will look better. Um, let's see if we could just get. That's fine. Okay, and we're gonna have to option click there, and like that, and like that. Okay, so there's the rough cut. It it looks awful, right? If we were to take if we were to take this off, that's disgusting. Um, but this is where we're going to be able to fine tune um, each each object. All right, so we could start moving things around and lining them up a little better. And here, see how we move both? Well, we don't want that. We only want to move one side. So we're going to click Option, and now we could just drag the one. So here, this is a little. This one's a little messed up, so we're gonna have to bring this one down like that. Now, see we have we have this this point here. We don't want the point, so let's drag that up uh, parallel um, to it to itself, um, and then we could drag this one back down even more, and then drag this back down, and then drag this up a little bit. And as you can see here, we're getting we're already getting a much better curve. I'm going, I'm going through this pretty fast. Uh, you're gonna want to um, really um, look at each line uh, much better. So again, I'm I'm clicking Option here just to use the one um, the the one side of the bezier, and we're gonna want to move this in. A little bit, and it doesn't have to be perfect on the Apple logo. Uh, we just need that so we can straighten that out a little more. And then we're going to come up here and bring this one out. All right, so now we have a much better seamless curve, and it already looks better on this side at least um, than it did previously. So down here, and here it looks, it already looks quite good. Uh, we just want to drag this out so we get a longer curve. Like that. That way we're not getting any type of um, cut in our line. Okay. That looks good. No cuts. Nothing like this. See how you can see how it's cutting? So you want to 
you want to curve that out. So let's take this point. And we'll move it to about there. And continue this. There we go. We're getting it. Get a little better. A little better. Uh, we don't want to. There we go. And again, you're just going to want to play with it as much as possible. So now it's a much, it's just a seamless curve. Now, now, well, this is pretty much okay, um, and now the the apple, the bite of the apple, um, is where we're gonna have to really look at this. So, drag this like that, right? And now we have this this big line here, so we know it's over here. So now we just want to fit it and start lining it up, lining it up, and just keep playing with it until we find the sweet spot. And we're not professionals here, so it doesn't have to be 100%. Um, unless it has to be, I don't know. Then uh, you'll find another video, I suppose. Um, but we're getting it pretty much, pretty much how it should be. There we go. That's that's just about how 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 it should be. Um, and the only other part we would have to fix is this. Gonna bring this up a little bit. Make sure we fix that. We got two lines. That won't happen. And there, right? And then you would want to, might even want to add a line, add one here. So hold down the pen, add anchor point, click right there, and then we could just bring this part down and then. That part up just a tad. Right. And we got a little little dent here. Just wanna make that more parallel. And that curves out the dent. So now when we take away, it looks much better and definitely up here it needs to be um, more fine-tuned, uh, but for the sake of the video, um, I'm going to leave it like that. And eventually, you'll get something like this. So if I were to select the both these images um, and make them black, uh, you get something as fine-tuned as this. And this is what I actually made. This one I used um, for the um, for the animation of the Apple logo. Um, and, you know, after, you know, you, you just keep fine-tuning it and you get these really nice curves up here and this, this really nice Apple, Apple um, the bite of the Apple. Um, but for now, I mean, this one isn't half bad. So now all we have left to do is the leaf. So the leaf is, is really easy. I um, just want to go back to that pen tool. And we're going to click, click, drag, something like, like that. You want to come, uh, oops, option, um, and then do it again. Something like that. And then, you know, you can go back to the this tool here and, and play with it a little bit until you get it just right and then boom you kind of have an apple logo you know spend more time with it of course than i did on this one 
and get it more like you know the one I did here for the actual um, video. Um, but that's that's how you use it, and that's how you use the pen tool. Um, it's 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 definitely harder to do the Apple logo um, than it is to do something that's a little more straight and that has more straight lines. Um, but for the purpose of this, for the purpose of this video, to go to go in um, conjunction with the Apple animation, I decided to do the Apple logo. So let me know if you want to do any other logos. Um, make sure to subscribe to get more. Uh, Make sure to subscribe to get more videos like this and leave in the comments uh, what logo you want to learn next or um, what animation you want to learn next, anything like that. Um, remember guys, this is a channel for like more towards beginners because I am still a beginner, so I'm learning with, with everyone, with you guys, which is, I think, the fun part. Um, so thanks for watching today's episode. Um, make sure to subscribe, like I said, and I'll see you in the next one.